So here's our skirt steak. <laughs> Looks pretty good. It was about one and a half pounds. It's uh, very thin, which is of course common with skirt steaks. And there's of course, this part's falling off here too. So you can probably just pull this off. Here you go. I'll come off. And we do have some silver skin on the back, which I will leave on for this cook. But we'll season this with pepper and salt. And my one of my third favorite ingredient, if not my, I'd say my top three. There you go. There's some salt on that. Looking great. There we go. Now, lastly, because I don't think our life really has enough garlic in it. So here is very fine garlic powder going down. There we go. Go into the back side and we'll get it out on the barbecue, which will fire up now. Been about a minute and a half. I want to see how we're doing. I haven't done this in a, in a hot minute. And you can, and the, uh, when you're doing this too, all the charcoal that the steak was on, you're pretty much killing it. So you want to make sure you get a good bed of charcoal before you start this. <laughs> oh gosh. Doing okay. And just like that, we are done. All right. So let it rest in some foil and slice her up. All right, here goes nothing. Whew, I wasn't even holding it right. There you go. Of course, this part over here, definitely overdone, but still gonna taste really good. Get that off. Here you go. Give that to the dog or something. Perfect. All right, call that a successful caveman style cook. Wow. And again, I'm gonna showcase this this uh, this knife before we actually try the steak, which looks amazing. From caveman style, leave a link in the description. 
Um, I have no affiliation with them. They just sent it to me to go and try out. So I'm trying it out, and I'm pretty impressed. I was uh, pleasantly pleasantly surprised with how well this thing sliced sliced the steak. And yes, because of the, it's called a caveman style, I thought, why not go ahead and use the traditional method for caveman cooking for this tri uh, for the skirt steak. It was a very easily cooked to do. <laughs> no, no real cleanup. I went to get it on there. So let's stop talking and try eating. Here is a piece of steak. That was a way too big a piece to try in one bite. However, it was amazing. Great crust formation on there. Well, of course it's a great crust form formation. I think there's some talk. Maybe you want to put butter on there to give the uh, the steak a little more. Uh, what's the uh, the mallard reaction? It's not a bird. Uh, I'm probably blanking on the term here to get it to look a little more appetizing than just uh, blackening the steak itself. More of a cooking process to give a more dark, darker brown color than just uh, like a light, like a either light or or a charcoal dark. But that's a delicious steak. Let's go and throw something else on there. All right, now tell me, this doesn't look absolutely amazing. I like it. Here we have chimichurri skirt steak, caveman style. Oh, absolutely delicious. Uh, sorry, the sous chef couldn't be here. Her and her and the wife are out shopping, but so I get probably get the steak all to myself. Um, until next time, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, keep barbecuing America. Cheers.